Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Mystery Ranch 3-Way Expandable Briefcase, which is a versatile and durable everyday carry solution that has the ability to work as a daily bag, briefcase, and backpack. We recently featured the Mystery Ranch Prize Fighter Pack, which is one of the better minimal EDC bags that we've looked at recently. It was very comfortable, durable, it had a really nice simple layout and look. And so I was very excited when the company reached out to see if I would be interested in testing out the three-way briefcase. And I've been using it for the past couple of weeks. And so far, it's been a really great experience. The bag has been very durable. It has some really great organizational options. It has the ability to expand. It's just really nice to be able to use it in so many different modes. So I'm really excited to share it with you guys. There's some really great features here. And I want to thank the company for sending the bag for me to test out. And let's just jump in and take a closer look at the Mystery Ranch three-way expandable briefcase. Starting out with the outside of the bag, I really like the overall aesthetic. With the zippers and buckle on the front, it does have a more tactical and functional feeling, but it's still minimal enough that I think it would work well in an office environment or for walking around the city. For some reason, as I was using this, it made me feel like the type of briefcase or backpack that Jason Bourne might use because it's functional, but it still manages to blend in pretty well. As far as the materials, the bag is made out of a durable 500D Cordura fabric, which feels like it's going to offer a fair amount of weather resistance. There's also very nice YKK zippers all around, and then a magnetic fid lock buckle on the front. So just a really solid build quality all around, and much like we saw with the Mystery Ranch Prize Fighter Pack, it just feels like it's going to hold up well regardless of whatever situation you throw at it. And then jumping into the capacity, the bag comes in at about 22 liters, which I think is a really great daily bag size. I was easily able to fit everything that I typically like to carry with me. And I really like that the bag maintains a slim silhouette, even when it's fully packed out as I have it here to make it easy to walk around crowded cities and public transit, and to also just give it a little bit more of a professional look if you wanna take this into the office. And then a nice feature with this bag is that if you need a little bit of extra capacity, you do have the ability to expand this out by releasing this zipper here that goes all the way around. You get five additional liters of capacity. So this is gonna be great if you have to take a pair of gym clothes or you wanna use this for a quick weekend trip. Continuing along the outside, at the top, the bag has a nice pair of handles for when you wanna carry this like a briefcase. The material used on the handles feels very durable and thick, and it's also pretty comfortable. I would have liked to have seen some sort of padding here that would have helped keep the handles together or to just make it a little bit easier to hold when the bag is fully packed out. Currently what I have here is my Hero Clip carabiner so that I could hang the bag up instead of resting it on the ground. As mentioned in the bag's name, there are three ways to carry it. So when you're not using it like a briefcase, it also includes a shoulder strap so that you can use this as a shoulder or sling bag. The strap that's included here feels durable, but it doesn't offer much in the way of padding or comfort. I would have liked to have seen some sort of padded system to rest on your shoulders to make it a little bit easier to wear, especially since this is a 22 liter bag, you can fill it up with a good amount of stuff. And when you expand it out, Wearing this strap with a heavier load over a longer period of time could start to get a little bit uncomfortable. But overall, for most of my day-to-day -day usage, it's done a pretty good job. It's very easy to adjust the length, and I like how easy it is to swing the bag around while I'm wearing it to be able to grab stuff from the front. When you're ready to remove the strap, it's very easy to do so with these clips. And then there is a pocket on the inside that you can use to stow the strap, but I typically don't take this with me unless I'm planning to use it. And then when you're using the bag as a shoulder bag or a briefcase, it's nice that you can tuck the backpack straps away and give the bag a very clean look. But when you're ready to carry a heavier load or you just prefer to use this as a backpack, you can pull the straps out very easily. And then one thing I noticed with the bottom piece of the backpack straps is that they are very long, which gives you a lot of flexibility in adjusting the bag, but it can get a little bit cumbersome to tuck them back away just because there's so much strap. The backpack straps themselves are very comfortable. They have a nice amount of padding. They're really soft. On the inside, they have a meshing material to help prevent moisture from building up. They also have a nice width for the size of the bag to prevent them from digging into your shoulders even when it's fully packed out. There is no sternum strap included on the straps, but I think that's okay considering the size of the bag. And because you may be putting the straps away regularly, the sternum strap would probably make the whole process a little bit more complex. Moving on to the back paneling, unfortunately there's not a whole lot of padding here. I would have really liked to have seen something like what we see on the strap, so a little bit of elevation or matching material to help prevent moisture from building up. So when you are wearing this as a backpack, your back will tend to get a little bit sweatier if you're in a warmer climate. It's not uncomfortable by any means, and there is a little bit of a frame sheet to help protect the laptop and distribute the weight, but I really would have liked to have seen some additional padding or elevation to make it just a little bit better to use as a backpack. And so now that we've touched upon the three different ways that you can carry the bag, one thing that I will note is that it feels like it's meant to be primarily used as a shoulder bag or a briefcase. That's something I've noticed with all of these style of bags that have multiple carry options is that they tend to favor one carry style a little bit more. 
with the Air Flight Pack 2, with the way that all the pockets were oriented, it always ended up working a little bit better as a backpack. Because of the orientation of all the pockets here, it's just very easy to use this as a shoulder bag or a briefcase. No matter how you're wearing it, you can just reach down and grab everything very simply. Whereas if you were trying to hold this like a backpack, it's very hard to get into the bag from the top. So you're always gonna have to use it from the side, which is why I kind of feel like it's a little bit easier to use as a shoulder bag as opposed to a traditional backpack. And I definitely don't see this as a negative, it's just more of a question of whether you prefer a shoulder bag or a backpack style carry. Using this has definitely opened my eyes to some of the benefits that come with a shoulder bag. It's very convenient to access a lot of stuff. And while I'll typically stick with more of a backpack style carry in general, I'm looking forward to experimenting a little bit more with this bag as I use it in the future. And so jumping into the organizational options, the bag has some really great pockets. Starting with this one on the front, it has a magnetic bid lock buckle. And I really like this type of buckling system. It always makes it very easy to open up. It snaps together very securely and it's just a great all around system. I wish we would see these on more bags. And it really works great with this particular pocket, especially if you're using this as a shoulder carry or a briefcase because you can just reach down and pull this pocket up. And as you can see, you can reach down and grab things very easily. A nice amount of internal organization in this area. And so jumping in on the front, there's a little bit of additional space where I'll put some of my bulkier items. Currently what I have in here is my GoPro Hero 3 Plus. And then on the back of the compartment, there's some thin slots where you can place smaller accessories. So currently what I have in here is a USB-C hub for my Touch Bar MacBook Pro. And then I have a simple nail clipper. And then I also have a stylus and laser pointer combo. And I really like that these compartments are a little bit wider to allow you to place some bigger items such as a marker or even the USB-C hub that I showed. And then next to those, there is another larger slip pocket with a decent amount of volume. Currently what I have in here is my Ray-Ban sunglasses with their case. And so this compartment doesn't have any sort of felt lining, just a nice amount of space. I can almost fit my whole hand in here. And I really like having this at the front to be able to reach down and grab my sunglasses easily. And then the last bit of organization in here is a larger zippered mesh compartment. I really like the use of mesh to make it easier to see what's in the compartment. I also like the orientation of this zipper so that if you do want to use this as a backpack, that's going to be one of the compartments that's going to work a little bit better. And so a nice amount of space here. Currently what I have is just my Apple Magic Mouse. Next up I have a small lightning cable that I pair with some of the external batteries that I carry. And then the last item that I have in here is my Gerber Dime Multi-Tool with an S carabiner. And so this compartment goes pretty deep, so if you place smaller items, it can be a little bit harder to reach them, especially when the rest of the bag is really packed out. But overall, really like how easy it is to get to this compartment. I love the amount of space that it provides. And then when you wanna close this up, the Fidlock buckle clasps on very easily, and then you wanna make sure to bring the zippers all the way down to the bottom so you don't leave any gaps for water to get in. One thing that I did note about the zippers here on the front is that they are a little bit more exposed than the other ones that we'll take a look at, but so far I haven't noticed any issues with water getting in. The next pocket we're gonna take a look at is what I would call the main area. And this has a really great aqua guarded YKK zipper, lots of protection here. And it has a very nice wide opening so you can see everything that's in the compartment at the same time. Plenty of space in this area. Currently I have it compressed down so I don't have the additional five liters of capacity as this is how I would typically use it for my day to day. And so jumping into the items that I currently have here, first up is the water bottle that you've seen in all my other daily bag videos. I placed it in here since there was no external water bottle compartment, which would have been a little bit nicer, but I still like that this compartment is separate from the laptop area. Next up, I have my Beat Studio wireless headphones with their hard case. And I was really impressed that even with the bag compressed down, I was able to fit some of those bulkier items pretty easily. And then in the compartment, there's this little sleeve that kind of separates it into two areas. So if you did expand this out and you wanted to place your clothes or your gym stuff in here, this sleeve would help keep it separate from some of your more kind of admin and tech type items. And so on the other side of this sleeve, what I currently have here is just a simple folder for my receipts and papers. And then I also have my Levitate portable standing desk. At the bottom here, I have a full-size moleskin notebook. And then I also have my Kindle e-reader. So a nice amount of space overall for the larger items that I typically like to carry with me. And then on the back of this area, there's a few additional slip pockets. So in this first one here, what I have is my Blue Pop portable Bluetooth speaker and power bank. And then in the compartment next to that, I just have my Samsung T5 portable hard drive with its cable. And then on the other side, there is an additional larger slip pocket that has a soft felt lining on the back, which will be a great spot for a tablet. Currently what I have in here is my iPad mini two, and that fit in there very easily. 
As for the sleeve itself, it's not padded or elevated, so it's not really gonna offer a lot of protection, but it is nice to have a specific spot to make it very easy to just reach down and grab your tablet when you need it. And now with the main compartment emptier, I did want to expand this out to show you how much I can fit if I open this zipper up for the extra five liters of capacity. And so the zipper goes all the way around, comes up a nice amount. And what I would typically place in here is something like the larger double-sided compressible packing cube from Arquito that I've mentioned in a few of my recent videos. And that fits in here really comfortably once it's expanded out. And then with the packing cube inside, I still have plenty of leftover space if I wanted to still use this to organize my smaller accessories or to place something like an additional pair of shoes or maybe my dop kit. So overall, just a really nice amount of space and organization in this main compartment. And then having the ability to expand this out for a little bit of extra capacity is a really nice bonus. The last compartment we're gonna take a look at is the laptop and tech area. And this has another very well protected YKK zipper, a really great AquaGuard here. And so I really like that this area is kind of kept separate from the rest of the bag to make it easy to just reach down and grab some of your tech items, especially if you're using this for work travel. So really great layout here, some simple slip pockets on the front. I really like the amount of space and volume that these offer to make them easy to use. In this first larger one, what I currently have is my GORUCK wired up that has some of my smaller tech accessories and dongles. And then in the smaller slip pocket next to that, what I currently have is just a simple lightning cable to charge my iPad and my phone. But these would have been a great spot to store something like a larger laptop charger or even the shoulder strap if I wanted to bring that with me. And then moving on to the laptop sleeve, I really like how this was implemented. It offers a nice amount of protection. It's elevated off the bottom of the ground. The sleeve itself actually has a nice amount of padding. So very reminiscent of what we saw on the prize fighter pack. And Plenty of space here. This should be able to hold up to a 15 inch laptop. Currently what I have in here is my 13 inch MacBook Pro, but you can see there's a little bit of leftover space. Anything larger than a 15 inch I don't think is gonna fit. And even a larger 15 inch laptop feels like it could be a bit of a tight fit. The sleeve does come up a fair amount. So if you have a little bit of a thicker device, it should be able to fit in here okay. And so pulling the laptop out, now with the compartment empty, you can get a better feel for the amount of space. No sort of felt lining on the inside to help prevent against scratching, but still just a really nice amount of protection. I like that the compartment is suspended. And then one of my favorite things about using this as a shoulder bag and briefcase has been being able to access the laptop so easily. It's very easy to just reach down and grab it when I need to get to it quickly while going through TSA or something like that. So just a really great job overall with the layout of this compartment and the amount of protection that it offers. It really feels like my laptop is gonna be very well protected throughout the day. And overall, I was very impressed with the quality and the organizational options offered all throughout the bag. And if you're looking for something versatile and durable that's gonna be able to work well in a variety of environments, I definitely recommend you check this one out. And so to wrap up, it's been a really great experience testing out the Mystery Ranch three-way expandable briefcase over the past couple of weeks. The bag has a really solid build quality, some great organizational options, a nice look, and the versatility of being able to use this as a briefcase, shoulder bag, and backpack is a really nice added bonus. And so you can purchase this on Mystery Ranch site for about $150, which I think is a pretty reasonable price considering the build quality and features that this offers. It also compares really nicely to other similar convertible bags that we've looked at on the channel in the past. And so as I was testing this out, the first bag that this made me think of was the Air Flight Pack 2, which we looked at pretty recently. That's another really solid bag that works well as a briefcase, backpack, or shoulder bag. And that's gonna have a little bit more of a professional look and it also works a little bit better as a backpack with the way all the pockets are oriented as opposed to this one which works a little bit better as a shoulder bag and as a briefcase. And that one's gonna be a little bit more expensive than this one but it does have some nice touches such as an external water bottle compartment and a luggage pass through that might make the extra cost worth it. The next bag this made me think of was the standard Luggage Co. Daily Backpack, which we looked at a while back. That had a very professional look. It worked great as a backpack, but it also had the ability to be used as a shoulder bag and a briefcase. And that bag had some really nice organizational options and a great slim look, but it didn't have the same build quality and weather resistance as this bag here. And that came in at around $120, so it is a little bit cheaper than this if you have a tighter budget. And if you're looking for something stylish that's gonna work a little bit better as a backpack, that's gonna be another great option to check out. Another bag this made me think of was the Timbuk2 Ace, which to me is still probably the best convertible backpack that works as a briefcase and shoulder bag. I really love how all the organization was laid out in that bag. It was very accessible regardless of how you were holding the bag. It was very well built and it was very comfortable. It had some really nice padding on the back to make it very useful as a backpack. It also came in at a really reasonable price. So if you're on a little bit of a tighter budget and you don't need as much space, and durability is what's offered in this bag. The Timbuktu Ace is gonna be one of the best options to check out if you want something that's gonna have multiple carrying options. 
And then the last bag I'll mention here is the Mystery Ranch Prize Fighter Pack, which we talked about a few times throughout the video. That was just a really solid all around EDC bag, very simple layout, very durable. It had a great weather resistance and it was very comfortable to wear. So if like me, you kind of prefer just having a backpack style carrying, you don't need to have the ability to use it as a briefcase or a shoulder bag, and you want a reasonably priced and durable everyday bag, the Mystery Ranch Prize Fighter Pack is gonna be one of the best options to check out. But with all that being said, the Mystery Ranch three-way expandable briefcase holds up really well against all those bags. And if you're looking for a durable, versatile, and well-organized everyday carry solution, this is gonna be a great option to check out. And I'm definitely curious to hear what you guys think of the three-way expandable briefcase. And I really wanna hear if you guys like using bags that you can carry as a briefcase, shoulder bag, or backpack. And if there are any other great options that you think I should feature on the channel, please let me know in the comments. And I want to thank the company again for sending the bag for me to test out. And if you guys found this video useful, please go ahead and give us a like. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And thank you guys so much.